Good morning. We're back again. Doing our Breath of the Wild 100% warpless playthrough on the stationary bike for some extra exercise. Uh, we're going to pick up where we left off yesterday. We finished our first trip to Kakariko Village. Went around and uh, beat up some talus, taluses that we very much needed to. And now we are making our way down uh, to the area just to the east of uh, Dueling Peaks to do some item collection. We're gonna get some more Korok seeds, of course. Good morning, actually. I hope you're well. Um, so Korok seeds, but the main thing immediately is the Dea Village Ruins which has a journal that will unlock some more DLC chests. So we're going to get that. Um, and then we're going to... Whoa. Um, then we're going to turn around and go through Dueling Peaks and get the climbing gear hat. Which creature are we driving to extinction today? Only partial extinction. It's a long journey. The creatures won't go extinct until the end of this whole run. Right, Korok Seed. Yeah. Who pushed that? Uh, this is a, this right here is another Korok puzzle. Match the apples. Remove the apples from the tree on the left until it looks like the two trees on the right. This this type didn't go so well. I thought I just had to. Whoa! Match numbers. Ah, Korok. I'm close enough he won't spawn and this tree has a bunch of apples I think the one on the right here is the one we want to keep or no the one on the back okay get the two lower ones What the hell? One apple. Not, I guess, in the... I guess I picked the wrong one. Oh, okay. I think I found my least favorite Korok puzzle. I guess particularly because... Once you start picking, that's it. And you gotta come back later. <laughs> yeah. I would not mind driving the Octos to extinction either. Um, okay, there is Karakuti here. Yeah. And there is a talus around here. We'll continue our work on that species. Uh, let's see here. What, what beach hole blade? Good enough. Uh, I just north of here. I think it's on this side. Yeah, wow, that doesn't look like could be anything here. I mean, it's 
shrine nearby, supposedly. Let's, let's just see here. Oh, maybe I went to the wrong place. Maybe it's right over here. Is this whole like walking? Right? Yeah. Talus dead. Ooh, look at these rubies. Well, uh, two of them. But still. Marvelous. I love it. Okay, so we gotta still read that journal. What else is around this lake? A couple of chests with opal. Ooh, purple rupee. Phrenic bow. Yeah, I'll take a phrenic bow. The battle with the core. See, it has a phrenic bow on it, supposedly. Wooden bow is a problem. I think. There we go. supposed to be in a chest around here. This is another Korok. Chest of arrows around here somewhere, and we, I think we all know how much we need arrows. Is it underneath this rock? Are these. These rocks are definitely movable. Here's our journal. I hid the six priceless relics I stole from Hammer Castle in Misko. Okay, so that unlocks, I think, three more DLCs. Oh. Yep, there's a treasure chest. There's 50 rupees here, so. Um. Good 
Good enough? Good enough. Purple rupee. Ooh, there's another eight bolt plate just to the north, uh, east here. Let me check that and then. Then we're circling back around. That's it for Day of Village Ruins. Just a bunch of ruins. Lizalfos. Lizalfos parts. I mean, I don't know. Oh, shit, there's a Lizalfos. Good enough. Let's get going here. Oh, I kind of want to climb over the top of this. Yeah. This goat's gonna kill me. Oh, close. There are many side quests. But I think what I very much realize is the truth of it is it's mostly just collecting Korok seeds. Apples on this tree back? No, they are left in the incorrect orientation that I started with. Okay. Rock seed around here somewhere. Boulder in a hole. around here. Let's let's grab this hardy radish and see if we can get a good view. Or what is this? Mighty thistle. on top of this. Inside the cave by the bottom of the wall. Ah, that's why. Could be looking for a cave here. There we go. Ooh, look at all these, uh, look at all this ore. Two sapphires. And a ruby? Lucky. I mean, I'm not gonna say my money problems are over, but I'm feeling a lot more confident. And I may not have <laughs> had the confidence or money to buy the uh, sneaking outfit the first trip through Kakariko, but now I have a feeling the next time I end up there. It's a still of a rupee hanging around somewhere. That's a hundred, so we're gonna get that. Is it at the top of this pillar? Or a chest up there? Oh, where is it all of Right now, uh, it's just jewel bags. 
tell this to make money. Somewhere at the top of that hill. Got the arrows to do that. Eight. And I'm in this shot, I'm seeing at least three balloons. I think I'm gonna skip that. Although I will go to the top to blow it over. There's another Korok thing. Yeah, that's that's the archery game, which I am going to save for later because of limited arrow supply. I want to go right there. Sneaky river snails. Sneaky. I feel like crossing. Oh, wait, let's just use Cryonis because clearly there is a current here. Whoop ho ho! Seed down. All right, through the peaks. Yes, we'll be hitting that shrine that is making all the noise. Thinking of all this climb jumping I'm going to be doing once I get all my climbing gear. Great.
does this work? This one's probably done. That was a close one. Uh, I need to put something. And that's what those barrels are for. That's the only chest. We definitely gotta get that. We go. I thought each sure I had two chests. I mean, obviously this is the important item. Yeah, I guess there isn't one other one as well. Oh well. Other shrine down. Um, Alright, well after this we're going to continue um, east into that kind of valley between Hateno and Kakariko and we're going to be collecting stuff there for probably the rest of the session today. 35 minutes left. Still plenty of time, but there's plenty of stuff in there. Then, it is Friday. So maybe next week we'll start kind of the journey to Hateno. I don't even know if I'm going to make it on the first day after this. Because there's a lot of stuff to get along the way. This is bombable for a reason. No, I don't need that. Blast or whatever that is, all right. It's fine. Whoa, that's a sapphire and rock salt. I'm jumping down for the sapphire. That's a few hundred. That's definitely worth it. Slow progress when you can have to loot the countryside. It is. And we have to. We cannot let any Korok seed left unturned. Which basically means we're looting absolutely everything.
couple pieces of rocks off of my trouble. Another shrine. gonna get out of that with all the specs. I think actually when um, when the grind is complete it uh, it takes away the specs. Alternatively I could hit it with a fire arrow and uh, that would be that. Because like uh, like the bramble and other kind of things that we see from time to time, they are flammable, which is pretty cool. Bucks, plenty and jewel bags, they'll call us. Uh, this one. Water here. Oh no, there's water all along the sides of this thing. Put one there. And we'll space this. No. <laughs> Alright, that's a mark. That's also not going to work. Maybe this one. That'll work, now we just gotta freeze it. Next. What? Oh, I needed another thing. Oh, that was enough. There are other treasure chests in here. Yeah, all right. Yeah, if I would have to warp, I don't know. I would. Uh, I guess I would see and try if I could just muscle my way out of it. But that would be a that would be a difficult one. Or if I was just sitting there without any fire arrows, that would also be. Frustrating. Speaking of fire arrows, there are some on this uh, in the field here, so I'm gonna run grab those. I should probably do some more cooking too. I'm gonna stop at the uh, at the horse shrine and cook up some more cinder fruit because we take damage like crazy. Yes. Free of the, of the Sphinx. Oh, and there's a Korok thing on top of the... Wait, did I? Why is that not marked? I did not get that Korok. The question now is how, how many arrows... Oh no, that's just a climb to the top? 
Alright, we gotta climb to the top of the thing. It must have been raining, but that's why. Chests somewhere. For the... This way. That chest has fire arrows in it, so we're gonna get it. Now there's supposedly also a guardian around here, so hopefully. south from here. Pick up some brains off this guy. I think we're still looking for ancient shafts. It's only two ancient shafts. Isn't that great? Would have liked more. Maybe we'll get another combat trial on a shrine. I don't think I can take on these guardians just on the field. Game so the we're gonna go south here and there's a shrine down here, as well as the treasure that we paid those guys a hundred bucks to hear about at the horse stable. So we're gonna do that. There's some there's more jewels in there, so that's more money. Oh, there's also a Stalnox here. Oh, and there's also a treasure chest full of arrows here. That's further down, uh, on the left coast of this little island. Let's go there, at the top of the Stalnox. Those do count uh, as Hinox. So it might be time to try and defeating one of them. just for 10 arrows. There's a Korok seed directly south of here in a tree trunk, and then there's a shrine across the river. Get those. And then, damn, I'm off the rocks. Pick up that tree branch. Ooh, a bear. <laughs> Let us not uh, disturb him, though. Yeah. Those guys are tough. Yeah. And that is... That's our little shrine. All right. 
Alright. So after this, we're going to travel to the source of this river. There's a Korok there, and there's that uh, treasure that the guys told us about. Get those two things. You know, seven. I think that will challenge the Stalnox. He's gotta, he's gotta be defeated at some point. Why not now? Other than, you know, lack of weapons and equipment. I a lot of shrines done today. <laughs> great. This is gonna be great with me wobbling back and forth in this bike. Ah. Solid shield. Solider than what I've got there. I think there's an, there is another chest in this one. Oh, that was that's a required chest thing. All right, so we're gonna get. Oh, there's a slidey thing on this. Yeah. There's a slidey piece. Oh yeah, that's that's how it's gotta go. Momentary lapse in peddling. I need to get to a statue to pray. We've got all these spirit orbs to trade in. strong swimmer at this point. Okay. 
man, I can even see how much quicker he's climbing with this hat. I think I'll be able to afford that house now. Blame Blade, that's a good one. That's a uh, weather thing. I think that's uh, wherever the hell we are. It's always raining thing. Fishing right here. Look at all these fish. Found a bass. Those are good. All right, somewhere right around here. Oh, no. Is that style box? And actually, I'd probably take out the Octorok if. Uh, Oh, that... Whoa, bear. at me. There's the Stalinox. Alright, let's jump to the top of this tree for a little bit of safety. Oh, come on. Catch our breath. Save. Try to get this guy. Now, I haven't fought a Hinox or a Stalinox before yet. I think we want to be shooting them in the eye to stun them. I've got got stuff that can do that. Let's give ourselves a little bit more damage. And... Yeah, I guess we'll just go for it. Luffy! Is this not... Is this just not a thing? I 
I'm not sure uh, what triggers that guy to wake up and fight, but doesn't look like he's ready to right now. Um, so we'll have to come back later. I think there's a treasure chest around here somewhere. Yep. Fifty bucks. All right, now we head north, back over this river. Or it's basically. This next one's an arrow game. I don't really want to do that right now. I'll have to come back here anyway. Uh, I think we're taking the field yeah, north here. Okay. Loopy. Oh, I didn't do any cooking, did I? That's... Okay, that's the arrow game. Later. I didn't miss you. Time to hang on. here. Place peppers, hey. We could find ancient shafts in these in these ruins, but man, that would be nice. One of these is gonna come alive, isn't it? Hey, ancient shafts! All right. Ancient shaft down. Look at all of these guys we can loot. <laughs> Noting that at least one of them I think is going to be still alive. Keep rolling those dice. Probably won't. I know I wasn't supposed to climb a tree to get away from bears, but what else was I supposed to do? Oh. Ah. Oop, uh, oh, we can get these anywhere. Oh. Oh, so where are we on the map here? There is a Korok seed. Uh, just on the border here, actually, on the road. Eight twenty-two. 
Last few minutes. Nope. But it's been a, I think it's been a very productive day. Got a lot done. Traveled next. Yeah, I think I think uh, next session will be the Patano area. Probably travel up to the village. Probably not getting to the village. Plenty of collectibles. Just need one more ancient shaft. The corner. No, that's 20 rupees though. I think I don't know if I can get the house tomorrow. I mean, you know, if I if I went straight there, I could. Assuming I do get at least as far as the uh, the village. There's kind of you know. The, on the other side of this uh, wall, there's a winding path, and so of course that means there's like a dozen Koroxes to get and stuff like that. But the house is coming soon. <laughs> I was just gonna say, is that the sound of a guardian powering up? There is. Uh, okay, what else is around here? That's that guardian. And we can climb and uh, climb this wall. Whoa! Whoa! Okay, let's see. There's a Korok seed here, which is below a uh, metal door. Hey. Oh, 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 three rubies. Okay, there's stuff over there, and then there's this Korok. So, yeah, I could get to that otherwise. The lizard! Damn, this night sword's about to die too. This is a good one. Another emblazoned shield, we could leave that. I wish it, I wish it were emblazoned with more defense. What do we got here? What? Yeah. Oh, there's an iron sledgehammer right here somewhere. Is it gonna be at the top of this pillar? I don't know that I'm interested in that. Okay, let's uh, let's get a Korok seed that's down here. Time. There's still like five minutes left. There's still plenty more to be done. Ooh, a cooking uh, station. Let's do that too. Let's talk to this guy. Yeah. What are high tail lizards for again? Um, they are upgrades for some equipment. Among them, I think, is a climbing gear. It's like level one or two. I think there's the other equipment as well. If I were a potion brewing type of guy, they would be useful in potions. But I don't brew so many potions. Okay. 
Okay, let's get them out. Let's pop up here, find a Korok. So I'll we'll send us two acorns will fly above the tree's house. Ah, oh, god damn it. I am No. This is a later task. I have eight arrows. No, thank you. Okay. Uh there's a shrine quest room here for the cursed statue. Oh, I think we need to talk to somebody about things there. Yeah, let's let's open that up. You the clan. Wanna oh, drop that duplex bow. Nope. Um let's do this in full play. So, again, I think I was just talk to somebody over here. Horse or bees. Get that arrow. Arrows are in short supply. book, of course. We read all worn-looking books. That's it, I thought. Ooh, we could sleep. I mean, we're already at full health, so I don't know what the... Alright, I thought that opened the shrine quest, but whatever. Um, it's 8.30. That shrine is just around the bend, but I don't think we need to do that now. Okay, I think it's been a very productive day. I hope uh, everyone has a good Friday ahead of them, and I will be back on Monday for more progress towards Tateno and this grand, excruciating journey across Eiffel. Have a good day, have a good weekend, and catch you next time.